this is Anchor's largest power station. And when Anchor reached out and said, hey, review this, make a video, we'd love to get this on your channel, I've known Anchor for quite a while, so it was pretty much a no-brainer for me. I'm used to using their little portable, just those little battery banks that you carry in your backpack or whatever, charge your iPhone, iPad, nothing much bigger than that. But I've used them for years. I was super excited to see them come out with the bigger units. They've got oh, the expansion batteries that are going to double, triple, quadruple, your choice, the amount of capacity that this is going to have. So. You've got the battery on this thing, taking up the bottom half approximately of this device. And then you've got the inverter and the fans for cooling and everything else up top. So you could stack this vertically. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. And being able to expand the capacity because the inverter itself and the power it puts out is going to cover home backup for most people. Maybe not the whole house, but certain breakers. You're gonna be able to power things for longer, not just the bigger devices and appliances that this will handle. And that's really gonna be a game changer for the extended power outage situation. So as I just stated, this is gonna be perfect for home backup. This is not going to be the same ballpark as your portable power stations. It's a power station, it is not portable. It does have wheels on the bottom, which make it very easy to move around but once you start stacking batteries, you're not gonna wanna move the thing even with the wheels. It's just gonna be too much of a pain. But with a transfer switch, you hook this up to the breaker box and determine how much of the house you wanna power, it's perfect. And they offer the transfer switch as well. Another crucial element to add here is that it allows up to 2,400 watts of solar input at any given point in time. That's gonna allow you to charge this thing up in less than a couple hours. That's huge, especially in the power outage situation. And on top of that, there's not many units I have reviewed that can easily handle the air conditioner in your home. So right now it's not gonna be a problem. We're in the middle of winter, you've got the heater, the blower motor doesn't take up a ton of electricity, but when you're in the middle of the summer, you've got the AC blasting, you lose power, brownouts, whatever the case you'd be able to hook this thing up and it could handle your air conditioner. Now, how long will it last? You've got to do that calculation for yourself. How much of the electricity does your um, AC unit pull and compare that to how much battery storage you would need. But the point is, is that it's going to handle those larger appliances like your washer, your dryer, your central AC unit. Not all those stations can say that. Not all the other, especially portable power stations, can claim that. And if you are the owner of an electric vehicle or an EV, this can charge it up in a pinch. And most importantly, if you are the owner of a jackhammer, this would power the average jackhammer for two hours with this unit alone. If you've got an expansion battery like this one, you're doubling the overall capacity of the unit, you would be able to see four hours approximately of jackhammer use. So you've got a power outage, no problem. You just plug that sucker in and you go to town. The main unit itself will run a microwave for 4.3 hours, a fridge for 14.9 hours, and with the expansion battery like this, you essentially double the times. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna talk about some opportunities for improvement, some things that I would like to see different or improved. They're minor, but it's still good to talk about it. So as I said, this unit is very heavy and this is more manageable, but when you get a unit this big and with as much power as it has and the battery capacity, you're not going to be lifting this thing around by yourself at least. It does come with a handle. It's got the wheels, big sturdy wheels. I didn't have any problem rolling this around on carpet. And it has the front wheels here. These will turn. So that will allow you to be able to move the unit from side to side if you need to. One thing to note is that this unit has UPS capability. And what is that? That is the uninterruptible power supply. So if you have, let's say, your TV computer setup plugged into this device and this device hooked into your wall, if you were to have a power outage, loss of power of any kind, this will immediately kick over to powering from this device here all of the devices that are hooked up. Now there are three of the six outlets that are UPS compatible. So the three that are labeled UPS, those will stay on during a power outage. The main unit here is 3.84 kilowatt hours of capacity. And when you add on any of these expansion batteries, each battery is going to give you an additional approximately four kilowatt hours of capacity on top of that main unit. Now with the single Solex unit, you would be able to add six 
of these expansion batteries to a single one of these guys. You will also be able to do a split phase with two F3800s and six additional batteries. If you do the split phase with two units and 12 total expansion batteries, you're looking at 53.8 kilowatt hours, which again is a crazy amount of power. Who's gonna do that? No clue, but it's available if you need it. One quick thing to note is that this powers 120 and 240 volt appliances. That's pretty important to know. And as far as the input goes, you're looking at two XT60 inputs for solar or DC charging. The solar, you're looking at 2400 watt and a blazing fast AC charging speed of 1800 watts. Charging DC from car out, it would take a really, really long time. So that is not recommended. As far as the output goes, we're looking at a lithium iron phosphate battery, which comes with a five-year warranty a 10 year lifespan, and you're looking at over 3000 total life cycles. So zero to 100, at least 3000 times before you start to see a real degradation of that battery, at least down to 80%. We've got a connection port for the home transfer panel, six AC outlets, 120 and 240 volt, 25 amp max NEMA 1450, and an L1430 outlet to directly charge your EV and your RV. Three USB-C outlets, two USB-A, and one DC car outlet. Also, it has an app that lets you configure and customize things like the display, the unit timeout, and the AC charge speeds. If you wanna modify that, take it a little easier on the battery, charge at slower speeds. As far as what's included, you're looking at the Solex F3800, which is the main unit, an AC charging cable, and an MC4 three-port charging cable for solar. The expansion battery does not come with the main unit. That is an additional charge. So what are the improvements I'd like to see on this device? Overall, I think it's an awesome device. I'm very, very happy that Anchor has moved into the bigger power stations. So I'm excited to see kind of how that continues. I would adjust the spacing between the AC outlets. It's just a little too cramped for my liking. Bigger plugs they're gonna need more space. So it's just something to keep in mind, not a deal breaker, but it's something I think could be improved on in the future. As for the expansion batteries, if you get one, this only applies if you do, there's a little bit more movement than I'd like to see back and forth for the battery. I'm not saying this thing's gonna slide off. It's pretty sturdy up there and it's very heavy, but there is quite a bit of play with the battery when placing this on top of the main unit. So if you are in the market for a home backup solution or system for your RV or your van, maybe even off grid, this is a serious option to consider in my opinion. Anchor, I feel really knocked it out of the park. With a unit like this, I didn't have a lot of dings on it. Pretty impressive. So I will include in the description below a discount code that will get you an additional dollar amount off right now. As of now, it is $100 off of the already discounted price. So you can use that code to get a little bit more off the top. If you want to see more videos like this, folks, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Honest reviews. Until next time, stay safe, stay practical. I'll see you.